don't have a variac, I built myself a variable AC output using a 10 position switch and a transformer with four secondaries. And each of those secondaries has a center tap. So I've utilized all four of the secondaries and their center taps as well. And I've soldered them onto the back of the switch here. So each of these wires corresponds to a switch position. So if I turn it, each click is switching from one wire to the next. And I'll just show you the output on the oscilloscope and on the DMM so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, here we are at the lowest setting, which is 3.5 volts. And if I turn it up one click, we see 7 volts approximately, now 10, 14, 17, 21, 25, and 28. So that's the maximum there. So I have a nice little range of voltage there. It's not the cleanest sinusoidal waveform I've ever seen, but it's still feasible. All right, so now I'm gonna show you the schematic on the whiteboard and explain how I attach the secondaries together in order to get this uh, range of voltages. All right, so here's the schematic of how I attach the secondaries together in order to achieve an increasing voltage due to switch position. Now I'll just do some quick uh, notes about this. So here's the primary, so that's what you would plug into your wall, so 120 volts. And then here are the secondaries. I left the center taps out just to simplify the diagram. So here we have our four secondaries, each of which have the exact same number of coils, or turns rather, and so they all have the exact same voltage. So if we have 120 here, we have seven volts here, 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 and here. So what I did was I attached this to what I'm gonna call my ground point. It's not actually earth ground, but I use it as a ground. And then I attach these two coils together like so, and then these two coils together like so, and these two coils together like so, and I attached a wire to the final secondary. So. What I did after that was I attached them to my 10 position switch. Now, since I don't have the center taps and everything, I just used a four position switch to illustrate what I did. So here we are. We'll put this one over here. So that would be our 28 volt position. And one here. This would be our 21 volt switch position. And one here. This would be our 14 volt switch position, and one here, which would be our seven volt switch position. Now, why they increase in increments of seven is quite obvious because seven equals seven, seven plus seven is equal to 14, seven plus seven plus seven is equal to 21, and seven plus seven plus seven plus seven is equal to 28. So you can see how they add up.